This is the California Spotlight, sponsored by the California Department of Public Health. Hello there. Did you know that according to the US Surgeon General, vaping is now a youth epidemic? What you need to know is that there's often as much nicotine in a tiny vape pod as an entire pack of cigarettes. The California Department of Public Health reports that nicotine alters teens' developing brains and can increase anxiety, irritability and impulsivity. Today in the California Spotlight, I'm joined by Dr. Pam Ling and we're talking about a very important topic, vaping amongst teens. Dr. Ling, great to see you. Nice to Thank see you. Thank you so much for joining us. First of all, help us understand the dangers of vaping and how nicotine affects the developing brain. Sure, so nicotine is a neurotoxin and teens' brains are particularly vulnerable to this toxin and addiction. In part, that's because your brain is still developing up until you're 25 years old. And also, teen brains are really designed for learning, right? So every time you learn a new skill or a new fact, your brain is forming, forming connections between the cells called synapses. So teen brains are really designed to learn, and that same capability also means they're more um, vulnerable to nicotine addiction. How can you tell if your kid is vaping though? Well, there are some signs of nicotine withdrawal, which can be, as you mentioned, irritability, um, learning difficulties, mood swings. Um, now, that may also sound like a regular teen. Sounds like teenager. a regular teenager <laughs> exactly. to me. You can talk to your teen, for one thing, and you can ask them. They may or may not tell you, so you may need to ask in more general terms. What do they know about vaping? Um, what have they heard about it? Do they know other teens who are vaping to get a little bit of sense of that? Um, in addition to talking to your teen, you can also take a look at what's happening at home. Often if there's a funny, sweet smell when you enter your teen's room, that smell can actually be a vape aerosol in the room. You can also take a look in your teen's backpack and see what's in there. Um, it, you have to look really carefully because a lot of the new vapes really look like USB port devices or even school supplies. So you have to know what they look like. But it, it can be a minefield with teenagers. Talking to kids is the best start. I think that talking to kids is always a great place to start. And it's really starting a conversation that's gonna go on over time. So you wanna avoid sort of single lecture from mom um, as your only way of finding out what's happening with your kids. Um, but listening more than talking is a great idea. And especially if your kids are young, you may just wanna ask them what their experience is and what they know. A lot of teens, um, you know, they start vaping because they think it's different from cigarettes. They also don't even realize that it may have a lot of nicotine or what nicotine does. Four out of five kids actually start vaping because of the flavors and just curiosity about the flavors. And they don't really realize that, you know, each little pod, like this tiny vape pod, contains the same amount of nicotine as a pack of cigarettes. I do think also parents can ask their school administrators what's being done about teen vaping. So middle schools and high schools across California are seeing this happening and are putting policies in place. And then parents can also think about the kids in their communities and say, you know, what can be done to get rid of flavored tobacco products, including, including vapes, um, and getting them out of our convenience stores and other places that are so easy for teens to access. Yeah, well, Dr. Pambling, a lot of really important information for us to digest here. But is maybe one of the big takeaways here is that parents and, and teachers, health professionals, community leaders, need to take more of an aggressive step to, you know, help protect children from these highly potent products, right? I agree. I think it's up to us to really take action in this. And one really great way to get started is to check out the website, flavorshookkids.org. And that place has, the website has information about the vapes. It has pictures so you can find out really what they look like and what they do. Also ways to talk to your school administrators or even send a letter to the mayor. Dr. Ling, thank you so much. What's that website again? Sure. It's flavorshookkids.org. Flavorshookkids.org. Well, there you have it. If you'd like more information on anything we've discussed in today's California Spotlight, go to flavorshookkids.org. Dr. Ling, thank you. Sure. Thank you. And I'll see you next time.